Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I want to talk about the search for magical exercises. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. And don't forget to click the notification bell. It's either down here, down here, down here, down here. I don't know, one of those two. I'm not Alan Roberts. I can't figure all this complicated stuff out. The notification bell is down there or down there. But click on the notification bell. So you get notified when the big hairy ugly dude uploads a video. All right, magic exercises. I was thinking about exercise selection and <clears throat> probably um, the most common question I get or type of question I get is, hey, big hairy ugly dude, is it okay to use uh, Arnold presses? Is it okay to use um, single leg curls? Is it okay to use whatever, whatever, whatever exercise? Now, I have to caveat this by saying we're talking about reasonable, reasonable exercises Standard exercises, conventional exercises, nothing radical, nothing foolish, nothing idiotic, nothing out of this world ridiculously dumb. Just stuff that most people use. Now, if you feel tempted to ask yourself, is this exercise okay? The question is yes, because there are no magical exercises. When it comes to programming and when it comes to muscle building or power building, here's what you need to remember. You need to focus on a fair amount of compound movements. What is a fair amount of compound movements? It's a reasonable number in your program. One to two per day at least if you're doing a, um, a bro split. If you're doing an upper lower, you could have up to three, maybe even four, some minor ones, you know, like pull-ups, which aren't a major compound movement like de deadlifts. But you have to have a, a base, a good solid base of reasonable compound movements. You also need to have a progressive overload. You need to have some defined way of when you add, <clears throat> excuse me, when you add weight. You also need a reasonable amount of volume, a reasonable, a reasonable amount of reps per workout. If you have progressive overload in the mix and you have a reasonable amount of rep volume, <clears throat> excuse me, I just woke my ass up and I can't talk, then you are going to be in a good place and you're going to be challenging your body. So you have a basis of compound movements, you have progressive overload, you have a reasonable volume. From there, what you need to do is be consistent and get your butthole to the gym. Get that stinky butthole to the gym. If you're not getting your stinky butthole to the gym, you're not going to make progress. Now, it sounds funny and I'm, I'm, being, uh, I'm being ridiculous here, but look, over the years I've seen so many people just stop lifting over the course of a year. So it's essential that you need to continue to get your stinky butthole to the gym. The last thing is that you need to have a reasonable diet that allows you to build muscle. You need to have a calorie target each day, a protein target each day, and try to hit that because consistency in diet is very, very important. So back to magical exercises. Big hairy ugly dude. I got deadlifts in place. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, I got deadlifts in place. You know, is this exercise okay? Is this row variation okay? Is machi are machine rows okay? Are single arm dumbbell rows okay? Are, are uh, two arm dumbbell rows okay? Uh, any other, are single arm T-bar rows okay? Uh, any of that stuff. Absolutely, they're okay. Any exercise is okay as long as you have the basics in place and a, a reasonable setup that focuses around compound movements, progression, a reasonable amount of volume, consistency, getting your stinky butthole to the gym, and eating properly. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.